Who would win in a fight between an African elephant and a rhinoceros? This is the Clash of the Titans. These two large herbivores don't usually tangle, but when they do, it's not pretty. The fight between these two animals will prove to be exciting because both of these animals are strongly built. That is why it will not be an easy task for both of these wild animals. Elephants have captivated humans for thousands of years, simply due to their immense size. African elephants are the largest living land animals on Earth. These elephants can be easily identified due to their long tusks and large ears. Once on the verge of extinction, white rhinos have been successfully saved. Although these animals are now protected, they are still threatened by hunting for their horns. Currently, efforts are put to stop poaching as well as illegal trade. The white rhino is the second largest mammal in the world. An alternative name of this species is the square-lipped rhinocero, referring to the hairless square upper lip of the animal. Size and Description Weighing up to 6.6 .6 tons, 6,000 kilograms, and measuring up to 10 feet, 3.3 meters at the shoulder, the African elephant is the world's largest land mammal. It is characterized by its highly dexterous trunk, long curved tusks, and massive ears. Their skin is gray in color and incredibly thick. They frequently wallow in mud to protect their skin from sunburn. A combination of the upper lip and nose, an African elephant's trunk is extremely versatile. Elephants use their trunk for smelling, breathing, detecting vibrations, caressing their young, sucking up water and grasping objects. Both male and female elephants possess tusks, which are modified incisor teeth. An African elephant's large ears also serve many purposes. The ear's large surface area helps radiate excess heat under the harsh African sun. The ears are also often used to communicate visually. Flapping their ears can signify either aggression or joy. The white rhino has a massive body and large head, a short neck and broad chest. This rhino can exceed 6,670 pounds, 3,000 kilograms, have a head and body length of 11 to 13.9 feet, 3.5 to 4.2 meters, and a shoulder height of 150 to 185 centimeters, 60 to 73 inches. White rhinos have almost no hair. They have a squared upper lip, a longer skull, and less sharply defined forehead, and a more pronounced shoulder hump than the black rhino, which supports its large head. White rhinos have two horns, the front one averaging 23 inches long, 60 centimeters. The white rhino is a dull gray color. However, because they love to wallow in mud, their skin can become brownish or take the color of the mud they wallow in. Despite their huge size and bulkiness, white rhinos can run as fast as 40 miles per hour. Range and Habitat African elephants can be found scattered across sub-Saharan Africa. The bush elephants are found throughout central, eastern and southern Africa. The forest elephants are found in the denser forests of the Congo Basin and West Africa. Larger African bush elephant species cannot spread into these areas, as their large size makes it difficult to travel through dense forest. African bush elephants live in a number of different ecosystems. They can be found in floodplains, savannas, montane forests, woodlands and more. 
The smaller African forest elephants inhabit semi-deciduous, moist rainforests. Nearly the entire population of this species, as much as 98.8%, is concentrated within South Africa, Namibia, Zimbabwe and Kenya. White rhinos are represented by two genetically different subspecies, the northern white rhino subspecies and the southern white rhinos. Nowadays, the only known northern white rhinos live in zoos. The other southern white rhino subspecies is endemic to southern regions of Africa. The preferred types of habitat are grasslands and open savanna woodlands. Overall, white rhinos favor flatland terrains dominated by bushes. These grazers constantly need areas with grass as well as water to drink and wallow in. Hence, white rhinos are sometimes seen in swampy habitats. Diet The African elephant has a humongous appetite of 660 pounds 300 kilograms of food a day. Most of their diet consists of leaves, grass and bushes. Tree barks are considered to be the most nutritious food in an elephant's diet. In addition to that, elephants also drink a lot. They need up to 100 liters of water daily. The white rhino is a herbivore and it can eat plants that are toxic to other animals. If it was not for these type of rhinos, the African plains would be overrun with these pesky toxic plants. Because the white rhino has a wider mouth, it tends to be a grazing animal. It feeds on grass and can eat grass faster than you could mow it. The white rhinoceros is capable of going four or five days without water. Behavior Much like humans, elephants are social creatures that live in small family groups that usually consist of an older matriarch and several generations of female relatives. Males are typically solitary once matured but may live in small groups of three or four bulls. They take care of weak or injured members and even appear to grieve over dead companions. They also use their trunks to exhibit affection by frequently touching and caressing one another. The white rhinos are diurnal and most active during the day. Their social structure depends on age and sex. Female rhinos live in herds with their offspring and young males will form their own herds as well. Once they reach adulthood, the males strike off on their own and remain solitary. Adult males, called bulls, establish territories that they defend from other males. They mark these territories with urine and piles of dung. So let's find out who would win a fight between these two titans. Both animals can attack with brute force, have incredible stamina and are equally intelligent, which is perhaps why they don't typically fight. Now, if we evaluate for and against of each species, we get that the elephant is bigger, therefore stronger, has tusks and a dexterous trunk, while the rhino is faster and has a hurting horn. One would think the elephant would win hands down because it is so much larger than the rhinoceros. But that's being simplistic. Wild animals can punch above their weight if the situation calls for it. There have actually been recorded cases of African elephants killing rhinos. The rhino is very strong, possibly strong enough even to kill an elephant, but the elephant's sheer size and power are too much of a hurdle. They know how to employ their strength in ways to flip over a rhino. White rhinoceroses can also run at a speed of up to 50 kilometers per hour. If it makes use of its speed, then the elephant will be in a tough situation. White rhinoceroses can go below the belly of the elephant and pierce it there, 
then it will be hard for the elephant to recover. The rhinoceros skin is much harder compared to that of the African bush elephant. Hence, even though the African bush elephant will try to crush the rhino with its 5.5 ton feet, it will be difficult for it due to the agility of the rhino. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, in my opinion, whichever animal strikes first wins, and that's more than likely going to be the elephant. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.